Hello there, once again, this is Anton from Anton Will Bay, and my neighbor uh, texted me the other day, he's like, hey, I bought some comics, it had some Film Force in it, you want them? I was like, yeah, sure. So I went over and, and bought these off him pretty cheap, and this is what they are. I generally pick up Film Force comics when I see them. I could not remember if I have these or not, so I can't remember. They're not the cleanest shape, but Film Force books are hard to come by, and when you see them, you should probably pop on them. So what I have here is the Untold Origin of Femforce, 68 page, all color, AC Comics. There you got the back. Terra's riding a dinosaur. That alone, that's cool. Now the pages, I know it says all color, but these do feel pretty soft. They're not like uh, glossy pages. These are kind of older, older Femforce. Let's get a year off these, why don't we? Let's see, let's see, let's see. 1989. Wow. Older than I thought. Not a lot. Of, Fem Force came out in like 80, 85, so. Uh, composed of swamp muck. Known as fungi. Oh, its name is fungi. Nice. I was going to say, this looks like uh, the heap. It looks like. Uh, all the swamp thing and man thing, but no, it's the fun guy. I mean, straight up, I love Fan Force Comics. I love their art, their style. Uh, they're one of the few superhero teams, as far as I know, that man, they're still fighting Nazis for some reason. <clears throat> and they're still dressing like. Um, Pin up girls on a World War II airplane. This they just have that feel to them. And I just think that's awesome. That it's still that way. I just got some books recently from Fem Force, and the the vibe, the same vibe is still there. Like they haven't they haven't really changed much. And I appreciate that. This is a thick book, and wow, that guy got shot with arrows. Some of this looks familiar. I think that some of this is um, reprint from the very first episode of Fem or issue of Fem Force. Yes, it is. <clears throat> so it's probably the origin story of various characters in an anthology book, kind of all put together. Is my take on it. Yep, because there's Mr. Dinosaur from the very first issue's cover. And, which by the way, it reminds me, I have like a signed first issue of this stuff. I love it. It's like signed by like Everybody who worked on it. So some of this stuff is from 85, and some of it probably was just come put all together on uh, in 89. Part 3, Dinosaur Ally. He's, oh, Dinosaur Alley. Like, I was going to say, he's not your ally. He's not your friend, because uh, you guys killed him in the last one, if I remember right. This guy, he's so creepy and so ridiculous. Gotta love him. Iron Jaw or whatever his name is. I can't remember it. Is this gonna have the little featurette in the back featuring Montague Moon? Probably not. It's a villain with a huge moon for a head. He's awesome. Yeah, there's the cover, Fem Force number one. So it looks like you get a whole reprint of the entire Fem Force number one in here, along with some other stuff. AC Comic back, back Issues. It is not that easy to get AC Comic Back Issues, people. That's why when they come up for like this and somebody literally texts you and says, hey, I have some, you should probably just go buy them. Hey, look, it's Betty Page. And this looks somewhat anime. And fady. <coughs> Pardon my coughing. I have been sick for about a week now. This is black and white. Now, Fem Force did a lot of black and white stuff. When did this, when was this published, published, published? This is 88. So yeah, I've, I've talked about this before. They do bounce back and forth a lot. This art is really good. 
It looks a little faint and watercolory, but with the lines there, it's actually very interesting looking. Dr. Purge. Oh, these ridiculous things. Petty larceny. Dragonfly. I'm pretty sure I have a pretty good run of Dragonfly. I don't know if I have all issues of Dragonfly. Look at her eyes. They're so, they're bug eyes, literally. So they just look that way. Creepy insect eyes. Send another and another and another and let the bodies lie. I'm enjoying it. Like I said, I can't remember if I have this one. I think I do, but I can't be sure. And once again, a Betty Page pin up. So I don't know how Betty Page was blended into this issue and I don't know why, um, but I'm not gonna complain. So we'll just go with that. And those are my two issues um, that I got. Glad to share them with you. Hope you liked them. Um, always be on the lookout for AC Comics. They're one of the they're one of the cool independent guys. When it comes to like independent comic companies, I look for EC, um, Eclipse, AC. I love AC, and AC is still putting out stuff. Eclipse isn't. Um, First Comics isn't. There's a bunch of good companies that are gone. AC is still around, and they're still putting out books. They're hard to get your hands on, but um, do it. Look for them. Something different. Don't be a Marvel and a DC zombie your whole life, kid. Get a different book. Anyway, try some Femforce. That's my story. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.